everyone, welcome back to my corner of the internet. Welcome if you are new, my name is Smay. And today, as you can probably tell by the title, I thought I would film or start filming a what my baby, what my nine month old eats in a week. In my household, I'm normally the one who will come up with a kind of menu of what we're gonna be eating for the week, go to the supermarket, uh, prepare all the foods, cook all the foods, do all of that. So I have definitely been finding videos like this of like what to feed my baby helpful because even for myself, sometimes I just go through phases of like lacking any and all inspiration in terms of what I feel like eating. Uh, so I thought I might film this video in the hopes that it might help someone else who's going through the same thing as I am. The big disclaimer that I feel like I have to make before I get into this video is that I am absolutely in no way a nutritionist, a dietitian, anything like that. This is just how I choose to feed my child, the foods that I decide to feed my child. Uh, if you feed your child different foods, if you feed them in a different method, that's absolutely fine. You do you. I'm not trying to tell you like how to raise your child, how to feed your child. I'm not recommending that this is what you should be doing or this is like the best way to be feeding your child. This is just what works for me, what I do, and I just thought I would share it for no other purpose than that. So I started off by giving Finn purees. I tried to do a little bit of baby led weaning with him, but at the very beginning he just like wasn't interested. He didn't really know what to do so we kept trying but it definitely took a couple weeks maybe even up to like a month to, for him to actually like understand you know this thing in front of me I can pick it up and I can put it in my mouth and it might taste good. Now he pretty much feeds himself for every meal um there are a few things that I will either like load a spoonful of food for him so that he can then like bring the spoon up to his mouth or sometimes I will just like spoon feed him if it's I don't know like yogurt or oatmeal or something uh, because although he can do it himself it will take ages and sometimes that frustrates him if like he's not eating as much as he would like to as quickly as he'd like to um, or also like if we have places to be and I don't need meal time to be like upwards of half an hour uh, I will help him by feeding him. I feel like it was perhaps sometime around December last year in 2020 uh, that I bought a like downloadable resource from a website called Solid Starts which by the way I'll leave a link to their website and then also a bunch of the other uh, Instagram pages and things that I follow and get inspiration from as well so if you are in need of more inspiration go and check that out um, but Solid Starts had a guide on their website which was like the first hundred days of food and it uh, provided like different meal ideas, it had like two meals a day, it provided when to introduce common allergens, how often you should be introducing those allergens, how to prepare different foods and stuff like that. I think that was probably like my main, not barrier, but like my main struggle was in terms of like what I should be giving him, how much I should be giving him, uh, how I should be preparing it, all of that stuff. So the guide that I bought covers that, but Solid Starts also have a really great resource uh, on their website which is essentially like a food database where if you like search pretty much any food it will tell you when your child can have that food and how you should be preparing it for them at the different ages. So yeah I've been very loosely following that guide since I bought it. It's been a good resource to have definitely. Um, it's given me so much inspiration and sometimes with the meals it will make like say two servings worth but I will double it or whatever and make like four servings and then I'll put the other ones in the freezer so that if there's like a day or a week that I know I'm going to be uh, busier than normal and I'm not going to have time to prepare food. I know that I've already got like a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Finn's breakfast this morning is some of this Aramath porridge. This has been uh, in the freezer which is why it has this label on it to let me know how long it's good for and then also I mix that with a little bit of uh, this Greek yogurt as well just to give it a bit of flavour. Uh, also with a little bit of cinnamon. For Finn's lunch today we're actually going to be out and about. I'm going to see one of my friends at a cafe and just happens to overlap with the time that Finn would normally eat his lunch so I have just packed it to go. Also apologies about the shadows but for his lunch he has uh, two segments of an orange. He has like a quarter of an avocado which I will just take the skin off when we get uh, to the cafe and then in here is a hard boiled egg mixed with a little bit of homemade hummus. And then I'm also throwing in some of these baby mum mum rusks things. I did, well I got gifted a um, like mum and baby um, goodie bag from a magazine here in New Zealand called Oh Baby. I did like a sponsored Instagram post, this video is not at all sponsored. Um, but they sent us a bunch of I guess like packaged food like this and a bunch of it expires in like September, October. So I need to kind of get through it. So I feel like it's a great thing to have um, when we're out and about. And then of course I will also be taking his little uh, nose spill sippy cup with us. So you can have water. Okay for Finn's dinner tonight he has some little polenta sticks, some more of the homemade hummus like the stuff that he had in his eggs this morning and then he has some steamed broccoli uh, and some steamed carrot. 
For breakfast this morning, this little guy is having some oats that also have uh, some chopped up strawberry and some chopped up pear in it. I don't know how much of this he'll actually eat, but I'll heat the whole thing up anyway because I feel like he will probably have most of it. He is a hungry boy. On the menu today, Finn has a hard boiled egg uh, just mashed with a fork and a little bit of homemade hummus. He has some spinach and then also these are essentially little corn fritters that I just made in uh, like a mini muffin tray. Alright, this is what Finn has for dinner. I don't expect him to eat all this by the way, but I've just put a little selection of stuff there and he can choose uh, what he wants to eat and how much of it he wants to eat. So we've got some mashed peas, some grated carrot and a little bit of cooked beef. This is actually from our dinner tonight. Um, it's actually quite thin, so I don't know how he's going to go with it, but I just thought I'd give it to him to see because he hasn't had any uh, red meat for a while. He's also got some uh, orange segments and then also some broccoli. Today Finn has one of his favourite breakfasts, avocado on toast, and then I've just given him a few orange segments as well. I'm going to do this quick because Finn is hungry. Uh, and here he has some mashed up peas with a little bit of mashed avocado which was left over from his breakfast so this morning. Uh, he's got some steamed carrots and then this is a tofu and spinach uh, omelette. Right, Finn absolutely wolfed down his lunch, um, so now I've just given him some rusks as well. Alright, for Finn's dinner tonight he has some steak, which is actually what we're having for dinner tonight. I just chopped a little bit off uh, and cooked it up for him before I put our uh, marinade on for our steak. This is some polenta with some mozzarella. He has some broccoli and then also some Greek yogurt. Alrighty, it's Friday morning for Finn's breakfast today. He's having a chia seed pudding, which I made with some coconut milk. And then I've also just prepared um, half a banana. <laughs> you excited? I don't know how much this is gonna eat, but the last couple days I think he might be going through a growth spurt because he's been really hungry. For his lunch today, Finn has some grated apple. He has a piece of broccoli with a little bit of tahini drizzled on top. And then more of the tofu and spinach omelette um, that he had yesterday as well. All right, for Finn's dinner tonight, we have some uh, sweet potato sticks that have been boiled, some of these uh, corn cups, and then also half of an avocado, which is left over from his breakfast the other day. Right, Saturday morning, Finn's breakfast I think is probably one of his all-time favorite breakfasts. It is these uh, zucchini and banana pancakes. Okay, he wolfed those pancakes down in a matter of minutes, so now I've just given him uh, the rest of his grated apple from yesterday with a little bit of Greek yogurt. Okay, this is what Finn's lunch is looking like, if I can show you without it falling out. Uh, he's got some steamed carrots here, he's got a piece of polenta uh, with some mozzarella on it, and on this side he's got some strips of tofu that I've cooked and it's in a uh, peanut and ginger sauce. For Finn's dinner tonight he has a little bit of leftover tofu from his lunch and I've just mashed that in with a little bit of broccoli. He has uh, two bits of banana with some tahini Greek yogurt and then some wholemeal penne pasta with a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice on it. I don't even know why I bothered to use the separation plate because literally within three seconds everything gets mashed together anyway. So you can see this is a piece of banana in his broccoli. For breakfast this morning, Finn is having some strawberry and pear uh, overnight oats and it also has a little bit of aramanth porridge in there. This is what Finn's lunch is looking like today. He has some uh, steamed carrot, he has a scrambled egg with some spinach. I think, well actually I feel like all of this week he has had uh, an egg as his like lunch to have some protein. That definitely doesn't normally happen. Sometimes he has uh, chicken, sometimes he'll have cannellini beans or like something else that has good protein. Um, it just happens to be this week the meals that I prepared were a lot of eggs. Um, so yeah, he's also trying a new food today, which is some um, uh, beef tomato just chopped up into some little wedges. Okay, it's almost dinner time. I've also just been at an appointment to get my eyelashes and eyebrows done, if you wonder why there's such a dramatic change in them <laughs> from the last clip. Um, but Finn earlier just had a snack of some banana and apple uh, rice cakes because he had a bit of a sleep this afternoon because he didn't sleep much over lunch and he was pretty hungry I think when he woke up he was a little bit grumpy so we gave him some snacks uh, and then for his dinner tonight this is what he's having it's some grated carrot which is actually the carrot that he had at lunchtime today he didn't eat grating it was a little bit of a mission because it initially had been steamed so it was quite soft um, but I was finding he wasn't really eating the carrot he was more just like sucking on it so he does like grated things so I've just grated it to see if he'll eat that uh, this is some leftover peanut and ginger sauce that I made for the tofu yesterday, I think there was. And then also some poached chicken that I made for him this morning. I plan on putting some chia seeds on top of the peanut sauce, um, but we're all out. I used them all up the other day and our supermarket shopping uh, hasn't arrived yet. So potentially no chia seeds if that doesn't arrive in the next like 15 minutes before he eats his dinner. 
Finn's breakfast this morning is some Greek yogurt with a bit of aramanth porridge mixed in. Right, Finn's lunch, I've just realised, it's looking a little bit bland colour-wise, but he has some of the leftover uh, spinach and scrambled eggs that he had yesterday, and I've also just put a few chia seeds on top. Uh, this is a piece of polenta with some mozzarella, and then he has a bit more tomato. All right, for Finn's dinner tonight, he has some bits of poached chicken with some uh, pine nut pesto on it. He hasn't had pesto before, but he's had... Uh, a few different kinds of nuts and he hasn't had any reaction so I'm hoping that's all good. He has some lemony penne pasta just here with a little bit of olive oil on it and then next to it he has some wilted spinach and I've just chucked a little bit of grated carrot on top. Alright it's actually the next day now, it's the following Tuesday since I started filming this video and I realised I never ended it so that is what I'm going to do right now. I hope you enjoyed seeing the types of meals that Finn eats uh, in a week. Obviously every day and week uh, is pretty different but I do feel like this video was a pretty good representation of what he currently eats. Um, I think in terms of the 100 day guide, as I said I've been very loosely following it but I feel like we're probably up to day like 75, 80 in terms of um, just trying the different stuff. When we finish that I have actually bought this cookbook which is called What Mummy Makes um, and this is essentially meals that you just make one meal that you and your child can have so uh, this is what we're going to start getting recipe ideas from um, probably in like a couple weeks when we finish that guide and then there's also just other stuff like um, I think it was yesterday for dinner he had like uh, pesto chicken pasta which was what we were having for dinner as well so I just kind of like made a baby portion um, which is essentially what this book does I've already had a look through it and it looks like there's some really good recipes so I'm excited to try that. I'm also excited because it will mean that I'm no longer having to prepare like three meals a day for Finn and then three different meals a day for like me slash dinner for Nick and I. My camera is also now flashing to tell me the battery is going flat so I think it's a pretty good time to wrap this video up. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you were looking for some inspiration uh, this video helps you find that. Please also let me know uh, if you have a little one, what types of foods that they eat down below as well uh, and how like I guess you do it in terms of do you cook a separate meal for your child, do you have the same one but maybe like more flavour or different spices or something to yours, let me know because I'm always after uh, inspiration as well. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, hope you have a really great day and a really great rest of your week and I'll see you all later on. Bye!